So where are we going today? Well, every now and then we'll have craving for biryani, and today I'm craving biryani, so let's go for that. Okay. Shit, so get Chicken and all. So chicken biryani, um, Calcutta style. Calcutta style. You need the aloo in there. A biryani yes. is bloody incomplete without the aloo. No matter who says what. <laughs> no <laughs> matter true. who says what, you need the aloo in the biryani, man. That's true. So whoever lives in Victoria, they know this famous spot. It will keep coming up in our videos because this is our to-go place for groceries. Walmart. See, it's so busy, man, today. Bro, I just hope we get the chicken. That's all. I'm yeah, missing. man. It's about right now. Yeah, and I think. Let's go. Grab the bag. Happy Diwali! We are not really going to miss India in Canada. Yeah. That is one key for it. Everybody is ready for Diwali. Yes. There is some of bull chicken or should we take these guys? See, I like these ones. Okay. And uh, we can get two of those. So there's how many people are here? One, two, three. And then Manny's there for And then Shasta will be there, so that's five. So we can get two of those. Two of these ones? Yeah. Should we take one more? Okay. One more? It will be too much. We are like one, two, three, four, five. Because one will give you two, two, two big pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll have potatoes and all of that in there. If needed, we'll put eggs. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Yogurt, dahi. If dahi to we had, man. I need one but, to pick yeah, 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 let's, anyway, let's, so let's pick it up. That. Okay. But dahi. 2%? Oh, Baji. 2% or 3%? I think 3% is better. Decided this better. So here we get Indian desert thoda, thoda barfi. Moti chur ke laddu, my god. So you get everything. Chum chum. See, dude, we used to call this chum chum. Remember? Yes. We used to swear and say Chudir bhai chum chum. This is our favorite spot in this section. So you get all the masalas here. We'll look at this, you're spoiled for choice. But Bombay biryani. This one is Karachi my beef biryani. I like the spices and the flavor this one gives. Mm. This is my favorite for using it. My mom used to actually use that. Okay, so, so let's take this. I go for that. Because you I know it. I haven't tried the other ones very much, but this one's a safe bet. This one doesn't look too bad, but okay. I don't know what Malay is. Who is Malay, man? But yeah, that's done. We need some onions and potatoes. Onions and potatoes. Then we should be good. I think after. Uh, two bunches? Yes. For future as well. It goes yellow. Hey, let's go. There's some onions as well. I'll take this. Hi, sir. But. Uh
ভাই এটা রেকর্ড হচ্ছে কিন্তু So we have come to Dosa Paragon to get some lunch. Let's see what do we get. biryani from dosa paragon so this is kind of what kerelian style i don't know what the style this is but south indian it's style good like okay so we can compare also today we going to make calcutta biryani and also we are having it looks nice it looks good sweet. man shit it smells good oh my god it smells really good and see they get um, achar also with biryani i never had achar with biryani and they have uh, raita also wholesome so how much was it this was 16.99 two pieces of chicken and biryani What are you here for? Biryani. <laughs> biryani. <laughs> so here's my favorite part where we are going to actually marinate the chicken and the batistas actually come out really good. Usually I end up burning it, but today it looks like a good day because I've got the consistency, the texture, the color absolutely right. And let's add in the yogurt. because again this is what makes the meat tender the more yogurt like the longer you can keep it with the yogurt the tender the meat becomes really good if you are using something like some other kind of meat apart from chicken but chicken is an easy cook but still the yogurt the longer you can keep it is good we indians can't do without spice so let's have my favorite part the spice Along with that, we also usually put in a little bit of ground pepper. It just gives that kick, but too much of it would not be good. Like you know, it's got a strong taste. So we want that. Some ginger garlic paste. It's so convenient that we get the ginger garlic paste just like that here. Yeah. Because I remember my mom and everybody back home had to make it from scratch. Yes. And that. is a process because you got to peel the ginger yeah. you got to peel the garlic and then you got to chop it down a little bit then you got to make a paste out of it so imagine how much of time goes into that versus this just go pick it up from the shelf um next is this is mom's special ingredient i don't know how or why she used this but every single time she had special bombay biryani masala and we get it in walmart we so get it in walmart like we said like you know there's a variety of options but i feel for the taste we like this is usually the best little bit of house water gives the essence so you get this rose water over here as well you get the rose water you have seen it in stores here yeah, we got this one here yeah. you get kaura water as well which is also really good if you can add a little bit but if you don't have it that's absolutely fine that's the trick 
I think I'm going to add a little bit more yogurt only because I think we've got a lot of chicken here. Yeah. It's like everybody heard there's biryani going on and nobody wants to miss out on it. It's kind of close to 2 kgs. And I've washed my hands so it's clean. Let's give this a... See, you can always use something or the other to mix this up but I feel nothing does a better job than just using your hands for it. That's true. Salt. Okay, let's get the chicken in. Got these guys cut clean, all ready to go. Chicken is actually a lot. Okay, no longer can I just rely on one hand. So let's get messy. And then once that's done, just massage it a little bit like that. Sit down. The meat. Give the meat a little bit of love. Come on. Using that, so Bernie, could you give me a hand and just put a little bit of lime juice from there? Okay. So just tell me, huh? How yeah, much? Keep going. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Go, 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 go. It should be good enough. Perfect. So this also we get it in Walmart. Yeah, this is a convenient one. Making the chicken now. I will get going with the chicken. You need ghee for that. We are almost out, but we have enough to just do it for us today. So I'm glad because I would have been really disappointed if I didn't have ghee. It's hot. Smoking hot. I have to be a little economical with the ghee because we don't have too much. Mm. But it should be good. I'm gonna reduce the flame a little bit because like you just saw it will splatter. And all of that can be in. So that is how the first look of your potatoes should look like. I love the color. I can check if it's done because a good way to check would be to just... And how many whistles did you use? Yep, that's done. So just one whistle. Okay. Keep it at medium flame, just get one whistle most probably. There's going to be a bunch of stuff that's going to go in here. You've got the black elaichi, which is the bigger elaichi. So there's going to be two of those guys. Smaller elaichi is also going to be there. You can put four to six of those guys. A few cinnamon sticks in there. I've pulled, this is what we call jaitri. I think it's called maize, but just one of that because that has a very strong flavor. And I think this is called nutmeg. It's jaifal. So if you have that, Again, this I have not really seen around. I had this from back home. But if you get that, just one of that, it's got a strong flavor. So not too many of those guys. You boil that with water and salt. And once the water is boiling, that is when you put in the rice. I accidentally put in a little bit of rice as you can see at the bottom. But that's okay. That should not be a problem. But it's better when the water is boiling. You add the rice. It cooks quicker. And the flavor also blends in really quickly. What's now? Final step after everything's done, I'm gonna assemble this and we're going to be done with this. It took some time, but then again, like you know, patience is a virtue, and anything that takes time is always good.
What is this? This is attar. So if you need to make biryani, you cannot make it without this guy. This guy gives the scent. This guy gives a little bit of essence. And this is the key ingredient. Too much of this is bad because it's very strong. So make sure you go very little on it. But a little goes a long way. and the biryani is ready thank you so much guys for watching hope you enjoyed it